Don't fucking do God. Blah, 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 blah. So we just watched uh, Ruby Volume Five, uh, Episode Eleven. This was like the confrontation where uh, sides collide with what was it? It was uh, Salem, um, Salem side, and also Raven side just joining forces to essentially, like for their own personal gain. But in this situation, they're a lot allied together to fight against like Crow and his little posse team. And let me tell you, just this has, I mean. It's kind of really just one-sided here. Except for like Raven versus Crow, they're even. But everyone else is just having a, such a rough time. So about them not even being in that room? That Chuni Exams-esque room? Yeah, they're not in there. They're not in that room, but the color scheme is very similar. I think they wanted to do that for the intro just to make it vague. Although at the same time, like we've never seen that room well, ever. No, I'm, not, I'm not talking about this room like, oh, they're not in the room where it showed everybody fighting. No, I'm talking about the fact that Raven and Crow aren't in this room. We see everybody else as like the camera's like circling around to everybody. They're not in there. They're not in this room. They clashed weapons, had a small bit of dialogue between each other, and that was it. Mm. They went out and had, had a few beers. If anything, they went to bird form and just like flew above. They're like, <laughs> they're using the towns like, <laughs> but man, there's just so many things happening here. I'm surprised though that Yang of all the characters is not absolutely pissed off. Except for like maybe, maybe she got a little bit of anger when she saw um, Mercury. He's like, all right, it's go time. Fucking me. No, she's trying to learn to not rely on her semblance as much. Oh yeah, that's right. But definitely one, the main characters added, or at least who made a significant impact on this episode was uh, were Jean and um, our boy Oscar. <laughs> our boy Oscar. I think Weiss had a bigger impact. Oh, fuck. Don't... Or she at least received a bigger impact. Right. John was the one to start everything off. He got so pissed. And... He, was, he started off heated. I mean, like, I, I get him. I get why he's like, he's like that. And the fact that Cinder doesn't even care at all. I'm sorry, who are you? It's like... And then also Oscar, our boy. Ooh, ooh! It's just Oscar! Leo, Leo seems to be a shell of his former self, and I don't even know what his former self was. <laughs> it's just Oscar. Oz is not even interfering in this fight. It's just like, just go fight. What do I do? Fight? Just fight. Boy? Come on. You're, you're what? 13? A little low for our taste, but you should you should know. Everyone else is fighting. You attacked this man. Actually, Oscar did some really good fighting, like, choreography. Especially, like, with the camera angle, like, moving around the way it did. I figure he has been training with them for a every while. day. For however long they've been together. Like, a couple, just a few weeks. Maybe, like, a month. But, Wow. But yeah, you were right. Weiss was was at the receiving end of like the worst things to happen. She was she was the one who was matched up against the maiden. She was the one. And then Ruby had to take had, was fighting against Emerald. Well, I mean, technically, John was fighting a maiden. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. That was also one side, but this was also just ruthless. The one with Weiss just facing against. I already forgot her name, dude. <laughs> Just spring. Just like being able to neutralize all of like Weiss's um, just ice barriers and whatnot, and able to pay no mind to like all the glyphs that she makes. From you know, you know what uh, Weiss's problem was, right? Mm. She tried to use the shadow clone jutsu too many times and left herself wide open. The shadow clone? Yeah. <laughs> why? You, why would you say shadow clone? Because she's she's trying to use it like Naruto uses his sha his shadow clone jutsu. It's like. Every chance I get, I'm going to summon a thing, even though it takes uh, too fucking long to summon. No, not for Naruto. Like, Naruto, like, he does this and, like, boom. Well, yeah, there. but she's trying to do... She's doing a full-on summoning. Yeah, she's trying to make a summon as quick as he's doing his things. Which, you know what, is kind of stupid in this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. You have, like, an individual, like, huntsman, huntress, huntress like, she, level fighter. She, she built a wall and then tried it. 
and it was happening. Damn. And then she then like whoosh, she like uh, well. pushed the maiden aside for a quick second, and out in the open, she decided to try it again. She's so off guard, yeah. but not before she tried to do it before she pushed the maiden. You know what? She yeah. she attempted three summons in this fight, two of which were out in the open. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, in that in that case, and it's because of like her poor decision making in this fight was what caused her to lose like her entire aura like supply. Mm-hmm. And then we're not. That's not even talking about like Jean versus um, Cinder because it's just like that was also really one side because Cinder just has everything else like going for her, and Jean's just like really just an angry baby out there, <laughs> just swinging his great sword. Like, there's no care in the world. No. Yeah, and leave, leave our, our, our fucking Seminole alone. But I, I do this because he's probably best boy. <laughs> I do this to him. And best girl. Oh, he's best girl, too. It's so sad, though, because he, he's got to be, like, the character a lot of people, like, empathize with because of, like, his... I guess like his status here, like he's not as skillful that's, as like all that's the what other characters. Finally, found out what happened to. Yeah, they they did like a little bout <laughs> yeah. and they they'd spin, yeah. they Bye. kicked, and they were like gone. And they're gone. They're never seen again in the whole fight. Well, this one's kind of a weird one, like Hazel versus Nora and Ren. This one's kind of a like a, eh, we need to have them do something, because they've already had their resolve like completed in season four, and Hazel's just kind of, well, he's just a big, he's just a tank. That's all he is. Yeah, he's just a big guy there to do something. So, one thing I noticed a lot with this episode. Let's get they little, are big guy. all over the place. Yeah? Wait, what do you mean by all over the place? Like, like battle location or like literally the episode? Their location. The character location. Yeah, it's definitely a weird controlled frenzy. Because you're thinking like, all oh, hell's breaking loose. Because look at where he's at. Right? Now he's next to stairs. He was not next to stairs, and now he's next to stairs. And now they're facing him. When they weren't facing him. Oh, I, that's... I, well, that's kind of like a little thing that I kind of look over because, like, they could have done anything within that, like, shot mm -hmm. of him just, like, turning. They could have done anything. So there's just a set of stairs, like, behind him, and there's stairs up there, so... Yeah, that makes sense. There's just two sets of stairs going upward. Mm. One's a little higher, though. I think to the second floor. This one's like going to just some weird platform, which a very interesting statue that's just kind of like in the center of things that just kind of lifts up, pulls everything, which is very interesting considering like where the place and what's happening right now. Also, uh, Leinhardt's weapon is a buckler. Yeah, it's yeah, interesting. So, is he able to like mix mash dust together? I saw him do that. He mixed white with with red. So it's and he probably made a fire rock. What? Huh? I thought I was thinking of like fire and wind or yeah, something like that. Like, some some like <laughs> wind, water, fire, heart, <laughs> heart. What about Shadow Showdowns? Soot. <sighs> Going back to Oscar again. Like he's he was really good in this episode. But I do like. <laughs> I do like Lionheart's like cool. Time little. for the Wheel of Fortune. Do, 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 do. You got fire and wind. Do, 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 do. It's not effective. Do, 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 do. Also, that cane's effective though. Also, Lionheart is a faunus? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the tail and I was like, oh, he yeah. is a faunus. Yeah, I saw that. Like, he might have shown it later, earlier, but eh, I didn't I really know. catch that. I think another thing is the characters keep disappearing when another battle yeah, you're is, right. is going on. It, it's strange. I get why they do that, but it's also kind of inconsistent. Come on, in you this guys. Setting. You guys have a lot of money. You could afford the the processing power to render all of them fighting at once. Yeah, especially since all a lot of the other episodes weren't really action oriented at all. They were just kind of dialogue. So you could just. Yeah, you just like pour a little bit more budget here. Um, you know, a lot of uh, you know a lot of anime just kind of like put pour in, especially like Shonen, pour all their budget on the first episode, and then like the second episode hits, it's like oh, everything's so opaque. <laughs> <laughs> Naruto had the exact opposite problem. Every episode was just okayish animation. It's right. Like, where's all their budget? And then you get to the final Sasuke Naruto fight. Like Dude. there it went. Dude, like freaking uh, Borto's first episode, that was really clean. Then the second episode and third, it's like, 
Oh, God. It's usually for like those final like arc stuff. But yeah, I would say oh, out of all there's, the fights. Wait a minute. Out of all the fights though, like Weiss had the most interesting because of the fact that we have. I guess Oscar and and Lionheart went somewhere else because they're not in this fight. Oh, there's Ruby and. Uh, Emerald. So all right, there's some consistency. Yeah. A bit, but yeah, it's. Like yeah. I I feel every fight, no matter where they're fighting and what's going on. You should see freaking Weiss flipping around everywhere. Because she's been all over this goddamn map. I, I like that. Her fighting style is really cool in this one where she like jumps from glyphs to glyphs. And it's not like... It's not like how it's portrayed in other volumes where she's like from here, here. You see like the little subtle animations where it's like she bounces off the glyph just for a second as like a physical but floating platform. Mm -hmm. So I like that about it. She was just like kind of moving all over the place, but yet also she was losing a lot. And Ruby's just not serious about fighting Emerald, really. Mm -mm. Oh, God. Why? Okay. Why they had to do this? Where it was, it was Silver Eyes time, right? <gasps> or and Emerald killed it. Okay. Right, Shot her in the back, back, said, nope, none Fucking, of that. Fucking like, what was it? Uh, Aang going to Avatar State. Nope, Azula zapped him. God damn it, I hate that. What about, you know what I hate? The cylinder doesn't move. What cylinder? Oh, that. Oh, you're right. But wait. Wait. There it moved. It moved on the last shot of that, of that frame. Well, of that scene. What? <laughs> what if each chamber had that many shots in it? <laughs> All I know is that that was a load of load of crap. Also, Ruby didn't block that attack. Yeah, I'm glad that that shot, that stray shot didn't do anything. But goddamn, that like little bit where Weiss gets shot in the back, I was like, come on, Weiss. Look, she tries to summon and gets fucked up. I don't know how that, well, actually, she probably just got sliced. It's like, ah, fuck it. My knee. But no, I'm talking about right here. Oh, no, she did block it. She okay. did block it, but the problem is that she wasn't prepared for the follow-up here. No, I know that. Oh, well, actually, yeah, she was ready to, like, take anything that was ahead of her, but then she accidentally slipped the trigger. She, she oh, tried yeah, summoning right she, there. She, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Like, why? Your back is to the enemy and you try and summon. Remember, everyone has a gun. She tried to do it again. She's so dependent on that once she learned how to do it. Also, Jean, like, was in killing instinct mode here when it was... And this is also very interesting too, because like when Ruby sum used the silver eyes, that was like, oh shit, everything's happening. Cinder all of a sudden like falls down, and like the oh, very next second you see Jean like, <laughs> oh yeah, dude, he he was gonna stab her in the face. Oh, I didn't hesitate with that one, but I gotta give give props to Emerald though, because she was ready for that. Yeah. So, I think there's actually something about, yeah, I think there was something about. Her going into Silver Eyes mode, that affects Cinder, Cinder in a way. Yeah, I, th I think the, the residual scarring from what she had done is still connected to it. There's Fucking Jean, man. Why didn't you use the Force? Fucking, I want Jean to use his semblance. I want him to just be so overpowered, but... Well, he's already used it. He used it once before, yeah, but just like it's... it's like I said, it's going to be one of the semblances that will only be useful when it becomes useful. <laughs> Nowhere else. Like, it feels like, so like bad fucking for him. Ren. Oh yeah, you right. <laughs> Ren has a very specific purpose for his semblance, and that's only against really grim. Yeah. What, what are you doing? I'm hiding all my malice feelings. I can still see you. <laughs> no, you bang. can't. No, you can't. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> and so yeah, uh, I'm kind of like, I've almost like just kind of dodged this, but just the fact that. Weiss gets like, like stabbed, but not like all the way like in the center, but just like on the side. Oh yeah, she lost a kidney. Like an organ. Just... And like dude. everyone just goes quiet. Yeah, dude, she's, she's in pain. She's, she's not dead, but she, without immediate medical attention, she is dying. So they're going to have to fight really hard to end this so, battle. Right? 
Because now we have Weiss and Ruby out of commission. It's like, odd. Oh. Is Ruby out of commission? Well, she went Silver Eyes, but then she got knocked out. Pretty much, like, knocked on the oh, back. Oh, so she... She's gone. Yeah, she's yeah, she's drained. That Silver Eyes is, like, um, the Ooh. fucking bleach move that... The bleach move. That who's his name does, where it's like, oh, I'm gonna use it, but... Well, you know. my powers are gone. Well, <laughs> it's like, oh, here I go. <laughs> oh, just, there's so much in this episode because there's so many like characters involved here. I do like what you were saying. Yang is taking like more of a, a passive side to this. She's going to fight Mercury, but she's not going to try to rely on her semblance, which yeah. I think is super cool. That and, was something that her dad like nailed into her. You have any idea how many times you, you used your semblance in, in that, that tournament? In Every single time after, like, the second. Yeah, it was, like, every single time after the first fight or some shit like that. Yeah, just, like... Oh, yeah, I guess I am glad that R Raven's not fighting against Yang in this one. Because I know that they would eventually do that, but just not here. It's oh, not she'd be dead. That, too. They also want to set up, like, some equal matchings. Some. So, uh, what I would like... What I think would have been a really good, like, thing to do for this episode... Just one aerial shot. Yes. Yes. Just like one, one aerial shot of just like everyone just going fucking crazy. Yeah. One aerial shot of just all the fights happening. So we have like 12, 13, and 14. Then we have three episodes. I'm hoping Blake shows up sooner than the last episode. But it might take one full episode for her to get there. <laughs> and she, most likely she won't even be in the room. She'll just be fighting off like the White Fang and yeah, Adam. Yeah, she's going to be outside fighting the White Fang. I think she's going to come next episode. Because there's no Blake at all this episode, so next episode is going to be a Blake episode of her fighting Adam. Yeah. And then the next episode is like, Blake, Weiss is dying. We're going to be B. We're going to be Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> what name should we call ourselves when Weiss is gone? I'm thinking Arby's. <laughs> Add to the team for an S. Salem, of course. <laughs> Salem will join you. <laughs> eh, we'll have Sun as a rental. <laughs> we'll, we'll just throw another Schnee in there. <laughs> well, they could add Sun. <laughs> they just uh, add Sun. That's what's happening. They're shoveling out Weiss. I I don't want any of the main Ruby. Uh, the main. Ruby team to go out like that. Just no. I do no. Oh. That'd be awesome. I mean, good for them. That's it's very the drama. It's it's very bold. And I if it weren't for like my feelings against it, I'd be for it too. Just like near the end of Ruby, the last character may not even be Ruby herself, but it could be like maybe Blake or Yang. One of those it's two. Ilya. Ilya is just like the one of the last characters and she just has the entire spotlight just like Ruby's just kind of like a seance or whatever just <laughs> oh my god okay that's all I can say because it's, it's leaving me a cliffhanger because so I can't really complete my thoughts until everything's just like kind of resolved until we finally put we sh Weiss Schnee she in the ground never to summon again she, she's she's dying she's dead on the summoning and that's what's causing her to fail here like she's she is dying right now we with what just happened to her, she's dying. That was a burning spear into her abdomen. Well, at least that feeling was just nothing but hotness. At least it didn't feel pain until it dissipated. It was just scorching high and just went through. It was like, oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, I feel that. <laughs> okay. I'm good. How do you feel, Gabe? Anything else you want to add to this? <sighs> She's not gonna die, but it would have been an excellent move if they did. It would it would have given us. It would have like really just like. It would have given a sense that this shit's real now. This shit's really really real. Like you've seen Pyrrha, you've seen Penny, but nah, it keeps going. Yeah, those those were secondary and tertiary characters. Even the main cast isn't safe. Damn, why is this going out like this? I mean, it won't. It probably won't happen. It's not going to happen, and that's why I'm upset. Unless they prove us wrong. If they prove us wrong, I'm gonna be like over the moon, 
with joy and sadness. <laughs> joy and sadness. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> Cause she really like came to her own. Like, what's okay? I really shouldn't say it as if I'm giving a eulogy. <laughs> but I still don't think she's that that good of a character. Um, I think she's she's, lo- she's at present she's lost her way. Yeah, right. So she needs to find. She needed to find a resolve. So if she were to die like here without figuring out exactly what she want to do, other than I want to be away from my stepdad. And that's exactly what makes a what's it called? Um, that's exactly what can make a character's death so powerful is unfinished business that yeah they can't they can no longer complete an uncompleted ambition yeah it kind of reminds me of a uh, red versus blues text character she's just like she's supposed to be the perfect girl but she will always have a fault that'll cause her grief like in the end so she'll always never boost no <laughs> But yeah, um, but I'm I'm good here. All right, so I think we'll just leave it here, and we'll just see for the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to know, uh, wait, no, oh well, actually, yeah, the subscribe bell button. I was gonna, I was mixing things up. But uh, if you guys want to just know what we do as far as Ruby stuff, please be sure to subscribe. There's also a little subscriber bell button right next to it as well, letting you know when we uh, upload things like by the minute, and also support our Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag bye everyone. I hope. Everything's okay. <laughs>